made it through the manic Monday and now we're in Tuesday. Yeah, I'm telling you, this shit just goes by so fast. Tomorrow's Wednesday, it's hump day. You know where we're sliding to, baby. It's all about the weekends. We just got to get through this middle shit all the time. And uh, I hope I do a little bit to help you get through it. Anyway, how you like this shirt? Look at that shirt. I think that shirt says it all. He's not my president. That dick that sits in our house is not my president. My president, my last president, was named Barack Obama. And man, do I miss that guy every day, every day. And uh, I can't wait to hear him speak at that rally out there in Virginia. I did hear him put out a little statement about uh, John McCain. John McCain won, uh, he, he received the Liberty Medal. And uh, President Obama tweeted out that I'm grateful to, the Sen to Senator John McCain for his lifetime of service to this country and congratulations on receiving the Liberty Medal. Good words from a fine president. Now what did Donnie the Dick say? Oh, nothing good, nothing good. See, John McCain gave a little speech when he received that medal. And he talked a lot. He never said Trump's name, but everybody's saying, well, look who he's talking about, because we all know who he's talking about. He's talking about Donnie the Dick. And he was talking about American foreign policy and how it is half-baked, superior nationalism cooked up by people who want to find a scapegoat. Does that sound familiar? A scapegoat? Yeah! You bet your ass that's Donnie the dick. No matter what it is, Donnie wants to blame somebody else. There's got to be somebody else to blame besides the guy that's sitting there in charge at the desk that used to say the buck stops here. No, no, no. Donnie passes the buck all over the place. He just said it in a meeting the other day. Uh, he was in a cabinet meeting, I think, when he looked at the camera and he said, talking about the health care failure, I'm not taking the blame for that. That's the Republican Congress who can't get their stuff together in the Senate and all that. But it's not, I'm not taking... No, Donnie the Dick doesn't take the blame for anything. It's always somebody else. John said we live in a country of ideals, not blood and soil. I believe that was a direct dig at those cockroaches that were in Charlottesville. And, uh, you know, how Donnie called some of them fine people. They're fine people. No, they're not, Donnie. Everybody in the world knows what kind of cockroach assholes they are except Donnie. And, I, again, Donnie took offense to that shit. Yeah, Donnie says to Fox News this morning that McCain had better be careful because Donnie fights back and it's not going to be pretty. Ain't nothing about that man pretty. Ain't nothing about that dick in our house that is pretty. Ain't nothing about him right. Ain't nothing about him moral. Ain't nothing about him has any kind of dignity, character, or anything else. He's a lying sack of shit. And it, that's spoke about, unless you listen in to Fox News, which uh, is cheaper than a lobotomy, uh, you don't know anything. You got your head stuck in a fox bubble and you don't know shit that the man lies every day. They were talking about it uh, in reference to something. Oh, the lie. Yeah, that because see there, that's the way Donnie is. Even, even in matters of fallen soldiers, the deaths of our servicemen, Donnie wants to take a dig at somebody when he said that, uh, that uh, he didn't think other presidents ever called anybody, you know, because Donnie does and nobody else did. And uh, he, he insinuates that, uh, you know, he's doing a better job than everybody else. And he doesn't do shit. He hasn't called those families yet. He haven't received the letter yet. He was going to ship them out last night, remember? Yeah, right after somebody else wrote them because he can't write shit. All he knows is words. He just doesn't know how to string them together. Anyway... Somebody said that, uh, oh, no, Donnie said. Donnie said, well, I don't know what Obama's policy was. I don't know. Nobody, uh, you know, maybe somebody should ask General Kelly. They sh he should know. Yeah, Donnie, somebody should ask General Kelly. Your chief of staff, you ignorant shit. The guy that sits there and feeds you your cookies. That guy, you could have asked him, did Obama ever call you? 
No, you didn't want to do that. You just came right out there just in Donnie style, in Donnie tidy hand style, to say, spew crap, lies, disgusting falsehoods out of his mouth, and then try to blame others. Oh, somebody told me that. Others told him. Other people told me that Obama never... Who's the other people, you asshole? You never point. Oh, I heard. You know, I seen on the internet. I heard on Fox News, bullshit mountain. He hears crap on there and thinks it's gospel. Thinks it's the truth. Gospel. Yeah. Oh, let's not go there. Anyway, he says it won't be pretty when Donnie fights back. Because, no, Donnie, he's done it before. John McCain whose politics can be discussed back and forth with the way he votes and now is, is looking towards the end of his life like all of us are we just don't know it and he does and this man spent five and a half years as a POW while Donnie the draft dodger played tennis alright so Donnie has got no character he's got no moral authority to speak to John McCain at all Donnie is like I said yesterday, he's a pimple. He wouldn't make a pimple on John McCain's ass. He's a petty little man who thinks he's got to throw shit out there for the masses, for his cockroaches, for those little minions that believe his shit. Anyway, I was glad to see Obama come out and make a nice comment because that's what a president is supposed to do. He's supposed to unite the country and all that stuff. Be a motivator towards good things. Hell no, he's up there this morning talking about the Democrats are so evil obstructionists and uh, uh, again blaming somebody else because he can't get his shit done. Talking about his tax plan now. Oh, the tax policy, policy center got hold of his tax plan or the, what they're proposing so far because it's up for change, you know. But uh, yeah, the tax policy center said that the uh, the 80% of the benefits from the tax cuts will go to the 1%, the top 1%, the one we've always talked about, we got to take, you know, we got to quit giving all the money to the 1%, Donnie's doing it again, the tax plan, 80% of the benefits go to the top 1%, one-fourth of the middle class, your taxes will go up under Donnie's plan. Donnie's main end is to cut the individual, the top rate. Donnie wants to cut the top rate for the billionaires and uh, cut the corporate tax rate. That's the two big things that's in it. And they want to end the estate tax, too. They want that in. That's always in there. Whenever there's a Republican, they want to end the estate tax, which they always claim, well, that hurts small businesses. That's a 100% bullshit lie. There are no small businesses that use the estate tax to pass their wealth onto the family. No, that's for billionaires. And those are the ones that count. Nobody else is using that shit. Ain't nobody down here from the top 90% down uses the estate tax. We're supposed to worry about those exclusively rich billionaires. When they die, they can leave their rich billions to their no good kid like Donnie the dick got. That's the kind of shit. You know, when the ultra-rich want to make sure that their money only goes to their kid their, and make them a disgustingly rich prick that is nothing but a drain on society, that's what they want that estate tax for. It's not for small businesses. There are no small, small businesses. There is a loophole in his tax plan, I understand. It's in legalese, so I can't really understand it, but evidently it allows big companies to act like small businesses. Now, this is sort of like taking a big company, I don't know, GE or whatever, pick one, and then they can make a little subsidy down there and call that a small business. And remember, go check the definition of a small business. It ain't that small. Those are the small businesses that they always talk about. It's not the mom and pop store down the street. It's not your local uh, plant place where you can go buy plants or or anything like that. No, it's major corporations. That's who it is. Anyway, that's who it's going to benefit. And it ain't going to benefit anybody on the lower end. The, some of the middle class will get some tax cuts.
but one fourth of y'all will get your tax increase. So, half a dozen one hand and six in the other, you know. Anyway, what else is going on? Pennsylvania Congressman Todd Moreno. Well, he's up for drug czar. Was. Yep, no, he had to pull his name out. Donnie's pick for drug czar. Donnie called him a fine man and a great congressman. A great congressman for who? Because he was not working for his constituents. Because they found out the reason he's got to pull his name out is... Now, mind you, this is the guy that sets the drug policy and the abuse programs for the United States with our opioid crisis that they are so worried about. Well, what's going on with this guy? Well, exactly that, the opioid crisis. Seems come to find out that when Tom Marino helped draft a law, and it, again, it's in legally, so I'm just, you know, as a layman, as a layman, what it did what is it prevented the DEA, if this is buried in the print too, this is buried in bills where they put it down there as a little clause, that little loophole that's hard to find, but makes a big impact. And what that loophole did was it, it, it cut the, uh, the, it weakened the DEA to be able to track large shipments of opioid pills, hundreds of millions of pills to one area. Now, if you're sitting in some place, let's say Florida, because that's where the story came from, and you have a little doctor business there, and you're getting ships of hundreds of millions of pills, opioid pills, and you're just, you're, they're going out the door like crazy. Well, there's somebody might be a little suspicious about that shit. Oh, no, DEA can't investigate that because this law prevented them from doing such. That's the guy that was up for the DEA. Now, he worked with lobbyists for the drug companies to draft the, the, the language that went into that bill, that, that, that cut the wings out of the DEA to be able to track those large shipments of pills. Now, why would he do that? Why would he do that? Yeah, Pennsylvania, you need to ask yourself, why would your congressman do that? You look at the opioid crisis and we hear about it every day. Thousands upon thousands of our city and citizens dying from it. And it's because we have a congressman that's willing to circumvent the law in order to, to provide that supply and demand that, you know, the free market system will bear. And, uh, yeah, so he had to get his ass out. It can't be a drug, can't be a, a drug czar. If, if that's what you are, you're a drug dealer. You can't do that. Well, in the Trump administration, that would make sense. That's how we got Pruitt and all that shit in the EPA. You take a guy that wants to destroy it and kill it and put him in charge. Well, get Moreno. He's a drug dealer. Put him up there in charge of the, of the, the drug czar. Yeah, that's a good idea in Donnie's world. Obamacare is dead to him. That's what he said is dead to him. Cut six million people off of it with his little swipe of a pen to cut subsidies. Real proud of that, Donnie. Yeah, you're trying to keep best to kill it, but the problem there is, oh, he can't kill it. Obamacare is the law of the land. It passed the Supreme Court. It's the law. Donnie can't kill it except by cutting off the subsidies, and that hurts millions of people. So what happened? Well, they got a bipartisan bill coming out in the Senate that is going to pay those subsidies that Donnie cut out last Friday, Last Friday, Donnie says, oh, we're going to kill it, kill it, Obamacare's dead. Well, today's Tuesday. What's Donnie say? Okay, we'll go along with that. We'll keep it alive for two more years, and then we'll try to come up with something else. Again, trying to kick the can down the road because they don't have a plan for shit. They never have had a plan for shit. This was the Republican plan, Obamacare. It came from Mitt Romney when he was in Massachusetts. It was a black man that did it, so they are dead set against it. Anyway... He, Donnie keeps saying that he has the votes to pass the health care. That's a lie. He does not have the votes. If he did, they would have already passed it. But they don't. But Donnie, every time you see him out there in front of the camera, we have the votes. Here lately, that's what he's saying. We have the votes for the health care. No, you don't, you dick. You're a liar. Just like everything else. Oh, and right before we come down here, uh, flash up on the news was Trump's third try at the travel ban. 
has been blocked by a federal judge. Now they're saying this is going to be the one that's going to push it all the way to Supreme Court. I hope so. Because it's a Muslim ban. He's tried this three times now to get his Muslim ban through. And this is the third time it's been blocked. So, tough shit, Donnie. Quit cranking out crap. Quit putting out shit. And maybe people won't... Uh, Maybe they'd pass some of your stuff, but they're not going to do it. And before I forget, I got a letter today from Gary Wellman up in Rock, Michigan. Thank you, Gary. He's a little upset with the uh, uh, how Congress has their health care. Uh, they're not giving up Obamacare. The Congress and the Senate, they like their health care. They're going to keep their health care because they like it, because it's Obamacare. And the rest of y'all can suffer. But he's a little upset about that, as we all should be. Their health care and their shit, mm -mm, it's gold, baby. Why don't we all have that? That's the question. Why don't we have what our representatives, we vote them and we send them to represent us, and they represent themselves. Like I said, you want to see what your congressman's voting for? Look at his stock portfolio. That's who he's voting for. Anyway, that's about all I got. Big flip of the bird to Donnie every day. That's what I like to do. And uh, that's all I have. I have my board back up here, so I'm looking, making sure I didn't miss anything. That's about it. Got the letter. Got the shirt. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Uh, welcome to the Blue Dot Family Shirt uh, Givers Society. Uh, I am so proud of when I get shirts. It, it just means the world to me. I like it. And... Uh, who wouldn't, who wouldn't like a, a, a t-shirt sent to them every day? I don't get them every day anymore, but when we first started, I got them a lot. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, Cheryl. I appreciate it, and uh, I'm, glad you, uh, I'm glad you enjoy my little rant every day. Like, share, and subscribe. John Bravo, Blue Dot in Texas. And uh, to my Blue Dots around the country and around the world, baby, hang tight. It's coming. You know it's coming. We're going to watch him you know, whether it's through impeachment or or he's going to resign or whatever it is, we're all going to be able to take a good laugh in his face, and that's what I'm waiting to see. Anyway, y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all later. Bye.